Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. So I started tearing into this before I started the video. Uh, it's a uh, Ameritron AL1500. So a customer said it wouldn't turn on, blower would come on. So I uh, noticed that the soft start relay contact was fused closed. This is usually connected to the wall where there's a stud with double-sided sticky tape. I believe to help insulate the noise from when it engages. Um, so, saw that there's no 12 volts coming off of the metering board. I started looking at it, pulled the silicone off. I'm going to test these two diodes. I saw one of the caps is starting to pop, so I'm guessing the one of the diodes is shorted, if not both. So, uh, raw AC is probably going in the caps. Um, he tried to put these LED strips in. I started pulling them out. One lead was actually cut for some reason. I don't know if he started diagnosing it. But one had some electrical tape on it. It was cut. So uh, he put these uh, diodes across each meter, reverse connected, not needed. It has a diode here between the B negative and the chassis, so it's just not needed. So whenever you have one of these stick, you really need to change it. I always change the relay and the resistor. So you probably had a hard short. It has a, a Chinese tube, so probably flashed. I'll find out. Um, but uh, he's going to provide me with another tube. So I'll get it to turn on, and I'll check everything out prior to changing the relay. But I'll get a new relay, new resistor all the components over here input SO239 doesn't have good grip so I'll change the input and the output um, no point in taking a chance this has the series glitch resistor has the with the plate has the um, the uh, spark gap be careful because uh, the band switch you can no longer get it from Maritron and uh, I got a quote or like 308 bucks I think the minimum order was like 25 pieces, 300, 308 bucks each. So I will not be stocking these band switches. I'm not about to spend about 8,000 bucks just to have band switches. <laughs> That's just crazy. And I, I rarely work on one of these. So if you have one of these, be really careful not to damage your band switch. I, I strongly recommend having a meter that opens the key line automatically if you put it into a bad SBR or open or if you go over the preset power level, uh, you know, there are a couple meters like the Array Solutions, the LP meter that have that function. I use a bird watcher meter, but they're they're expensive, plus you have slugs to deal with. But so I'm gonna go ahead and order the parts. I do not have these caps here, unfortunately, and I don't have one of those relays or that resistor here. So it has 115 volt coil, AC coil, and the single pole single throw. I think it started off as a single pull double throw, but they snapped one of that. They snapped the contact off. So, so that's about it for now. So stay tuned and I'll see you guys soon. Hey everybody, AmpRepairGuy.com, 203-892-4119, also HarbachElectronics.com. Please like, share, and subscribe. So I went through this Ameritron AL1500. It was made in 2011. So luckily the band switch is okay, because I'm pretty sure they are now unobtainium, unless you want to spend a lot of money. So this one already had the series glitch resistor mounted over here on the side of this wall. Has the spark gap over here. So what happened in this thing? I uh, have a couple things to actually one thing to um, finish up, but I, w I didn't want to seal it up until I got to show you. It's so normally the two diodes for the rectifier for the 12 volt supply over here and they're covered with silicone so you had a bad trace and 
both diodes were shorted. I guess he put a he probably put a short on it. Leads were cut. One of the leads was cut up at the um, LED for the meter that someone added. So I don't know if it happened there or I don't know what happened. Anyway, there, I'm pretty sure there was a short. So fix the trace, change the caps, put the diodes in, silicone put in there to support the cap so it doesn't damage the trace. But I always take a lead and I go along the trace, tag it against the trace, and then go to a solid point like where the wire goes through the board. But I'm still going to goop some silicone in there. I haven't done that yet because I want to show you. So I put the blower on the highest setting. So you have the uh, brown wire. I believe, it, I believe the blower wire is the brown wire, but both things are tapped to basically 245. So white wire and the brown wire go to terminal 5. Black wire goes to terminal 1. So it's very important to have it tapped properly. So it's tapped properly because most people have about 250 volts. So I changed the soft start relay. The original one had fused closed and when that happens it's all oh, here you really want to change it so um, I tapped on it a bunch and got it to unstick but you know, so the original one has a stud replacement it's a single pull one this one's double pull uh, no stud has tabs so I drill two holes and use the 632 um, screw with a cap nut and it's secured nice. Change the resistor, change the SO239s, they're super tight. Fix the solder joint over here, replace the meter board, add a few bad components, and I just didn't, you know, since he was pumping raw AC into the caps because they're shorted, you know, everything got hit, you know, got hit with AC, so I just didn't want to take any chances. So, uh, tested full output all bands. This thing is good to go. So if you need an amplifier repaired, feel free to give me a call. And the new SO239s come from Max Gain Systems. They're nice guys over there. Here are the old ones. There's the old board. Here's the resistor. So thanks for watching. And I'll I'll be uh, finishing it up finishing up a SP220 tomorrow. So feel free to give me a call. Or if you need parts for Heath kit or other amplifiers I carry parts for, check out harbachelectronics.com. And always good idea, like I said, I tapped it so the blower goes on the high, so it's on the high speed. You can never have too much cooling, you know, unless there's so much and the tube's popping out of the socket, you know, so it's really not loud on the highest setting, so I recommend putting in it putting it on the highest setting. Just always a good idea. And again, always make sure the amp has any amp or any device that uses fuses. Always make sure it has the proper size fuse. So this has the right size fuses, and this is good to go. So thanks for watching. I'm going to add that silicone, and she's ready to go back to the customer. Yes, she. <laughs> okay, take care, and have a good night. 73.